What is up everybody, this is Beetle5 with another one of my reaction videos. Today I have the Ginger here. Hello everyone. And we will be reacting to the death battle between Cami White versus Sonya Blade. Now, there have been so far three different Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat death battles. You had Ryu versus Scorpion and Scorpion beat Ryu. Then you had Shao Kahn versus M. Bison and Shao Kahn won. But then however we had Akuma versus Shang Tsung. But Akuma took that win. So, the majority, though, of death battles with Street Fighter vs. Mortal Kombat characters, Mortal Kombat has kind of come out stronger, and I can see why. I mean, most yeah. Street Fighter characters, they just fight really, really hard. Mortal Kombat guys fight to the death. So, I think yeah. they have a little bit more experience in their training. Yeah, I think Sonya's going to win. Yeah, I got to go with Sonya here. She's got gadgets. She's got yeah. really combat. She does a lot of crazy shit with her legs. I don't even and, see like half yeah. her attacks are all with her legs. I forget Cammy's a uh, bodyguard, right? Cammy no? was um M Bison's bodyguard. Originally. Yeah, 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 yes, okay. yeah. yeah we, we, I think we, the I think the gadget the gadget that Sonya's gonna have it's just gonna be she's yeah. gonna be able. Oh, able definitely. To, Sonya's gadgets will definitely yeah. give her yeah. an edge into this fight. I could definitely see so. All right, starting this death battle in three, two, one, go. Sorcerers, gods, tournaments these days seem to attract all sorts, don't they? And yet there's always <laughs> seem to be people brave enough or stupid enough to step into the ring. Like Cammy White, Street Fighter's assassin turned British secret agent. <laughs> assassin. Sonya White, <laughs> the special forces general of Mortal Kombat. He's raising a boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. I'll have to take a look at the Street Fighter anime. That's a pretty good anime. Yeah. For most of her life, Cammy White was a pawn of the evil Shadaloo crime syndicate run by the wannabe dictator M. Bison. I don't know about pawn. She was his top bodyguard, so basically a lot more important. Maybe more like one of those horsey pieces. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the knight? The horse that moves like an L. Come on, learn your chest. Horsey piece. Wow. <laughs> Not only was she Bison's nice. top bodyguard, but also the leader oh, wow. of his dolls. A group of brainwashed teenage girls trained to be ruthless, unstoppable assassins. Whoa. What happens if all their cycles sink? <laughs> her not just from her skills as a killer, but also because she just so happens to be a female clone of Bison himself. How does that happen? It what? gets weirder. Aware his psycho power was deteriorating his current body, Bison planned to possess hers. I have a lot That's why all of her alternate costumes have that. Blindly, <laughs> okay. The mystical Yogi Dalson, who used his power oh, I like him. To something she never had. Willpower and self awareness. Realizing that Bison is actually the bad guy, Hammy joined the Delta Red British Special Forces and the fight against Shadaloo. With her training from both camps, Cammy is deadly up close with ruthless sweeping attacks, keeping her foes on the defensive. She can rush like a drill with Spiral Arrow, a move so agile it passes under projectiles. Her hooligan approach flips through the air like some sort of deranged spider monkey to lay the smack down in a ton of ways. Like the fatal leg twister, which is fatal. She also uses yeah, she does a little bit of fancy <laughs> footwork too. To control the flow of battle. And like most cannons, Cammy's signature attacks have higher caliber versions. Well, being a clone of Bison, she does have latent psychopower abilities, a dark energy fueled by evil and hatred. Sure, but I was talking about her EX and super moves. Oh, of course, like the deadly cross stinger assault or the Cammy quick combination. Get it? <laughs> With which she snaps her opponent's bones not once, Ooh. not twice, but three times. Oh man! She's also an wow! Knife thrower, agile enough to dodge bullets, and for a 134-pound secret agent Barbie, it's pretty damn strong. I mean, she can kick cars to death and stood up after falling out of an airplane. She survived blows from the world-class boxer Balrog, a fighter so strong he once killed an elephant with a single punch. Elephants are known to frequently smash <coughs> down trees with their skulls, which means they can withstand a force of over 10,000 pounds. And he killed an elephant. Hit the face with a truck. Unfortunately, <coughs> despite being a clone of one of the deadliest people on the planet, Cammy isn't a perfect warrior. 
Her control of psycho power in particular is extremely limited at best, usually only manifesting during times of extreme rage, and many of her moves can leave her vulnerable if misfired. Still, I'd think twice before picking a street fight with Cammy White. She's got legs and she knows how to use them. <laughs> Damn, what an ass! <laughs> I know, I know. Take your five dollars. <laughs> that was the one thing I always thought was the creepiest thing about her. Now the Mortal Kombat movie I've seen, and that yeah. is a great movie. I love oh, the Mortal yeah. Kombat movie. Which ended up being a lot oh, more man. trouble than she expected when she found herself in a tournament fighting gods, demons, and monsters. All while movie star Johnny Cage tried to get in her pants. <laughs> this was Mortal Kombat, a tournament decreed by elder gods where a realm or alternate dimension may challenge another realm for world conquering rights. Sonya joined the defenders of Earthrealm to stop the evil Shao Kahn's world domination and succeeded. But most of them died. Except for Sonya and Johnny, of course, who married and had a kid. Cassie Cage. Johnny, I'd love to settle down with a lady that has such an impressive resume and kicking ass. Sonya has <laughs> decades of combat experience that's prepared her for pretty much anything. She's fought cyborgs, ninjas, cyborg ninjas. <laughs> her Kenpo and Taiko Sorry. training emphasizes speed, agility, and defense. And she shows her mastery by leaping into the air, grabbing foes with her legs, and slamming them oh, down man. the backflip faster than the blink of an eye. She's got tally sticks, a wind blade, frag grenades, smoke grenades, stun grenades, and a garo wire for silent kills. But my favorite is her high tech bracelet, which lets her hover in the air. Oh god, the drone is insane. I think I'm in love with the drone? Sonia? Drone Drone think twice about that though. These guys wouldn't dare lock lips with a woman who has moves like fire kiss, crush kiss, slice kiss, poison kiss, or the kiss of death. Wow. Sonia likes to kiss. Holy fuck. In the early 1800s, it was common practice to tie criminals between horses which pulled them apart. Except even four horses playing tug of war don't often have the strength to rip people in half. Yet Sonia can do so with ease. Oh! Almost as impressive as karate chopping a steel anvil in half. Test your might. It's as ridiculous as it looks. Assuming the anvil is made of common steel, it would take over 90,000 pounds per square inch of force to break. To compare, 1969 boxing champion Ernie Shavers delivered the... Oh, don't tell me somebody actually cut an anvil in it. Meaning, Sonya's punch has over 56 times more power than the hardest hitting boxer ever known. Holy no shit. Wow. No wonder enough to take down Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Jax, and even Quan Chi, ruler of the Netherrealm, back to back. Of course, throughout decades of military experience, she has made plenty of mistakes. Her short fuse has gotten herself and her troops in trouble more than once. And while her tech and weaponry lets her keep up with otherworldly warriors, a smart opponent can use her over-reliance on gadgets against her. Still, there's something pretty special about a lady who can rip a guy in half without breaking a sweat. We need a strategic plan of attack. I got one! There was a Mortal Kombat cartoon? <laughs> I never knew. Oh, god damn, I gotta find that. That is awesome. I still feel like Sonya could win this fight. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I gotta go with Sonya. Alright. Kano! Hey. Oh no, Cammy found Kano. Suspect in custody. Oh man, don't don't try to take Kano away from Sonya. She Yeah. She will get pissed. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Just killed Kato. <laughs> oh! Oh boy. This is gonna be good. Oh -ho.
Oh, nice catch. Oh god, now you're, <laughs> gonna, you're gonna throw his corpse. <laughs> Look out, <laughs> Kato corpse. <laughs> Oh, the drone. Alright. I'm sorry, but she didn't need the drone to blow up that crate. She could have done it with her fist. Yeah. She could have done that with her fist. Oh, oh, now she's got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, M. Bison's in, in her power. Psy psychotic power, yeah. Whoa, what? She just exploded. Okay then. Oh shit. Uh oh. It's out of control. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it's oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Not as tough as you look. Oh nice. Oh! 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 X-ray! Oh! oh my goodness! Oh! 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 I've got this son of a bitch. No! Oh! oh shit. Always gotta be the hard way. Yes! Oh, there's Hell no yeah. Man. yeah! That was awesome! Had an edge in speed and agility. But Sonya's far superior strength, arsenal, tactics, and experience overwhelmed her. Sonya's fought opponents who have led armies and conquered worlds, and taken them on back to back. Yeah, more combat Their characters are so same, much stronger than never against characters. quite such an impressive lineup. Sonya has about 10 years worth of military experience over Cammy, and it's not like she was pushing papers all that time. When she wasn't chasing down war criminals on her own, she was a longtime leader against multiple interdimensional invasions. Cammy did a lot with Delta Red, but nothing which stacks up to Sonya's resume. And hey, Cammy's durability of an elephant is impressive. But you know what's tougher than that? Solid steel. True, and while Cammy was adept at dodging projectiles, she couldn't keep it up against Sonya's large arsenal attacking from multiple angles at once. Looks like Cammy's only half the woman Sonya is. <laughs> the winner is Sonya Blade. Nice. Yes. Very good. I'm on. Death oh boy, what's it gonna be? So <gasps> Overwatch! Overwatch! Yes! No, oh my god, who's Tra gonna be? Tracer! Yeah. Tracer? Tracer! Sweet! Oh my god. Oh yes! Who's gonna be? And next time we've got Tracer from Overwatch. Oh, I love Overwatch. Fighting? You can find out by sticking to our Instagram. That's official. I bet, I bet she's we'll gonna fight somebody like, like maybe right. Scout. From, yeah, Scout from oh, TF2. Oh, That'd be a cool fight. Yeah. yeah. Tracer versus Scout. Yeah. If it's, if it's not him, then it's gotta be someone else who's got like really interesting stuff about the speed or something. Yeah. I see a lot of rap battles of like. Yeah, there's, there's like I've seen a rap battle of Tracer versus Scout. I mean, maybe that'll be too predictable then, but I mean. I don't know. That'd be a cool fight, but oh man, Tracer is gonna be Yeah, good. Tracer will win that fight. This is gonna be a good fight. Oh yeah. I'm gonna like that one. Alright, well, that was pretty cool and pretty expected, but cool regardless. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for what else you react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later! Yes.